Hi everyone, so it's uh, Saturday, May the 18th, and uh, we are just getting ready to go camping for a few nights. We're going out to Mine Pond, that's on the west coast of Newfoundland, and uh, we've got some other stuff we're going to do out there. We're going to do some metal detecting and take the dogs for walks and probably have a few drinks, you know, stuff like that. And we're going to try out the new uh, rooftop tent, and hopefully it's all right. Just got it put on the roof today, and uh, seems to open and close fine. Ladder lines up good and everything. So yeah, and guaranteed we're gonna forget something. I mean, <laughs> that's just the way it goes, right? I mean, I'm sure everybody's been there. So uh, besides that, I uh, did uh, put a coat of paint on the tracker. Uh, I'm not sure what color it is. I had some leftover base coat, and I just mixed it all together, and uh, I kind of like it. Yeah. I'm gonna redo the bottom black again, flat black, and uh, and she's good. The only reason I did the uh, base clear on it is because it holds up better to the alders and that where I put this to. Uh, spray bombs just don't hold up. I mean, it's just the yellow is showing through everywhere from the spray bomb paint job it had on it. So uh, I said, well, why not just put a half decent paint job on it and get that scratched up. <laughs> so yeah, she don't look too bad for what she is. And I got a lot of other upgrades done to her. Not a lot, but some. Like I got uh, all the toggle switches for all the light bars put in. All the light bars are all hooked up now, even in the back bumper. And you see in the dash there, you see the toggle switches right there. And up here is a navigation system I just got. Tells you your uh, coordinates wherever you are and tells you the altitude you're at and uh, it's got a GPS speedometer which is really handy considering oversized tires on a tracker my uh, factory speedometer don't work right anymore not sure why right <laughs> so yeah I'll uh, show you what the navigation looks like here Let's see if I can hold my phone here and turn the key on and that's right there yeah neat little rig all the light bars are hooked up the winch is all hooked up to the fuse box too and everything's hooked up the way it's supposed to be which is you know kind of wanted to do the only thing i can't get figured out yet is my gas gauge it stopped working about two weeks ago and i can't get it working so this evening there i was picking at it for a little while and i did a continuity test on the wire for it and i thought i found a problem it was always showing a full tank so now it's showing empty all the time <laughs> so i didn't gain nothing because i just put 30 dollars worth of gas in it didn't make a difference so yeah so still something else i gotta figure out but i'm sure i'll get that probably next week until then just carry a gas canner i went me with ten dollars worth of gas catch me out of a bind so yeah i guess uh go in and see if crystal's ready now and uh get the dogs loaded up some pillows and some blankets it's supposed to go down to seven degrees tonight so it'll be a little bit chilly but not bad i think we'll be all right and uh when we get out to mine pond that i'll uh, start videotaping again all right so we just got to mine pond and i'm gonna get ready to set up the tent so i figure i put that in the video too to show how it's done in case anybody's wondering what they're liking that and uh i'm gonna get at her
Okay, so the tent is set up. I had to uh, stop at the beginning there and uh, watch a YouTube video on how to set it up. And it was actually really easy once I seen how it was done. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks. Very pleased with it. And now that I know how to do it, I could do it, I'd say in about 10, 15 minutes, have it completely all set up. So that's not bad. So it's the next morning. We had a good sleep in the tent the first night trying it out. It was great. We slept really good. It was warm. But uh, didn't videotape much because the wind picked up there when we were getting ready to go to bed. So it was uh, quite windy last night. So in the morning we just uh, packed her in because uh, we couldn't even have a fire to cook breakfast. It was just way too windy. So uh, we packed everything up. We uh, went back home there and uh, got something to eat for breakfast. And now we're uh, just uh, got the blacked up siding and we uh, got to the rail bit, the old rail bit, which is now a trail for off-roading and that, here in western Newfoundland. And uh, we're heading out towards Glance and uh, we see a nice spot on the way, we'll probably just uh, pull in and uh, set up there for the night. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of videotaping on the way out here, show you spots of the rail bit, see what it looks like in that. Maybe we'll see some wildlife. Maybe we won't. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we're about halfway to Glance, and we just found our spot to camp for tonight. People's been camping here for years. It is right off the rail bed. And uh, yeah, it's a little fire pit set up over there. And there's lots of dry wood around. And the tracker's still parked on the rail bed, so that's how close we are. So uh, I'll do a little walk around here and show you what it's like. We're still gonna go out to Glance today. Go see if Camp 7 is open and get a poutine or something. They got excellent poutine out there. 
So, uh, yeah, let me show you guys what it's like here. Okay, so this is the entrance coming in and lots of brush there. I could cut that up with my chainsaw and burn that. And a big pile of brush over there behind tank. Burn all that. And I think I'll park the tracker either right here or right there. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out when we get back here though. And Crystal's already over there picking up some dry wood for the night. <laughs> and another nice thing about this spot 
is we'll hear a brook flowing all night. Plus it's sheltered in here, which is kind of nice. And luckily it's not windy out here so far, because like I said last night down at Mine Pond it was beautiful, but the wind picked up and it uh, made it a bit rough. And there's the brook we got to listen to tonight. So yeah, really looking forward to staying here tonight. Okay, so we just got back to the camping spot after doing a bit of exploring there. We're up on Logger School Road, as you've seen all the cutout net and the drone footage of the pond and that. So, uh, got the tracker in a pretty good spot there, she's pretty level. So I think that's going to work out just nice. So, uh, yeah, time to start getting set up. Crystal's getting firewood ready for this evening. And I'm going to get at uh, getting the tent set up and uh, the power inverter charged up with some solar power. So we got some lights in that for tonight. So yeah, I'll get out my uh, tripod and put the phone onto it and uh, start recording uh, the tent setup. It should go a lot smoother today because I know how to do it now. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we're starting to get the spot set up for the night pretty good here now. Got a nice bit of firewood. I still got to get a bit more at all. I'm going to get the electric chainsaw out there shortly and cut up some more old dead branches and everything. That's over there. And uh, this is just a view of what we got going on here. I'll uh, stand back a bit further so we get a better view. So yeah, there's the tent all set up. And that's where our fire will be. There's even a grate over there for cooking on. And tank is uh, scouring the area looking for food. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to walk out on the rail bed here. I, uh, been using this selfie stick I got here for uh, just a, as a tripod and I can't even remember where I bought this one too I think it was on a high bid Canada site and I'm very impressed with it it's very good quality it's even got a button down below to put a battery in to take pictures or record and stop recording and all that so pretty nice setup so as you can see now I'm on the rail bed here and I'm just gonna walk up as far as this bridge here just to show you the waterfall not the waterfall but the water flowing and there it is and just behind me there and here's a view from the other side and what a beautiful day here I mean it's warm I'd say it's about 15 degrees here now there's a scatter fly out but it's not terrible tank came with me for a little walk looking for food in the area I guess <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to go back inside here now and uh, get some wood cut up in that and uh, get ready for this evening. we got some uh, hot dogs we're going to barbecue with some barbecue sauce in that. And beans, of course. you got to have beans with camping. But lots of salt and pepper on it. And we got a loaf of homemade bread and some other stuff. Some chips for later on and, you know, all that good stuff, eh? So, time to get at the wood, I guess. All right, so it's uh, evening time around 5.30 and uh, we just cooked up some beans and wieners with some sweet and sticky barbecue sauce. And I gotta say, it's pretty good. We got some homemade bread with butter in it. Man, oh man, that's where it's at. And Tank says I like the idea of eating it too. You're not blinking an eye there now. <laughs> Bad good. Alright, so it's Monday, May 20th. We just made it through the second night in the tent, and it was great. I mean, what a great sleep in that. I love it. Really, really comfortable. It was warm. Everything was perfect. And, uh, yeah, had the sounds of nature. We had the loons making their sounds, and some birds chirping last night, and the frogs, and the brook running right beside the tent there. I mean, it was great. Don't get much better than that. So uh, we're going to get ready now and uh, put on the kettle, have a cup of coffee, and light a little fire, have some more uh, beans and wieners. And uh, yeah, then I guess we'll uh, start getting ready to pack her up and uh, head her back.
barbecue sauce or whatever you got to bread, huh? Mm -hmm. Not It'll be some good. There we go. Breakfast is done. I'm ready to eat. That looks a bit good. Mine looks better. <laughs> okay, so uh, getting ready to do up the dishes here now, and uh, I was watching a uh, buddy of mine on YouTube there a little, little while back, one of his videos. Uh, Tucker and I. His name is Gary. And I'm after learning a few things from him from being out in the bush pushing that, you know, and uh, sometimes you forget to bring stuff with you and that and you gotta improvise. So what he told me, or well, what he said on his YouTube channel is uh, you need to clean your pots and pans and dishes, whatever, or you don't have a dish pot or anything like that. Just use a branch. Find a brook. It's always good to camp by a brook because then you got somewhere to clean your dishes and everything. And you just scrub it with the branch and it works great. Perfectly clean. Okay, so I guess that's going to wrap up our May 2 for a video for YouTube. Um, it's kind of funny, when we got back in town here, I had to do a bit of running around and I was uh, pull up at Tim Hortons drive through and a feller asked me to roll down my window, so I rolled down and he said, uh, you're leaking oil. So with that, I uh, turned around and came directly home. And when I come to find out, the front diff in this tracker was actually rubbing on the base pan because this is a V6 tracker chassis with diffs and apparently the front mount was modified or something or other I'm not, not sure but it was looked like it was beefed up quite a bit and it was welded up with extra plates and that and it was fine for the V6 but with the four cylinder in it which I'm using it was actually rubbing on the base pan and ever since I did the chassis swap I've been feeling a vibration inside that wasn't there before and I looked all over and I couldn't find it and well I found out today I guess <laughs> so uh, luckily it happened here and not on the rail bed somewhere and I lost all my oil and lost the engine that kind of thing so anyways I uh, had the crane out here well cherry picker I guess you'd call it and I got right at it I let the two motor mounts go that's all I let go and I lifted up the motor, got underneath, and I drained the oil. I seen right away where the little hole was. It was only a little pinhole, just chafed through. 
So what I did is I drained the oil out good, put the plug back in, and I welded the pinhole over. So uh, that's fixed now. But the only thing is, where it's May 2 for a weekend, and it's, uh, you know, everything's closed. <laughs> so I can't get no more oil to put back in it. So uh, with that, we're uh, not be using this tracker tonight to go anywhere. And I guess I'm back to the track tracker without tracks. <laughs> Let's say that a couple of times past, eh? So yeah, I'll be driving a little white one tonight. So, you know, I'm not stuck without wheels anyway. And besides, I got the Civic too, so. Lots of stuff to drive, so I'm never stuck for something, nothing to drive. So yeah, things could have been a lot worse, but I mean, it was a good weekend and everything. Really enjoyed it. And I think our next journey in this tracker with the tent on it is going to be over to Sandy Point. I did a video on the place years ago. Or, yeah, about two years ago, I guess I did a video on it. And it's a very historical place here in Newfoundland on the west coast, out by Stephenville Crossing and it's only accessible by quad they say but i mean i drive the tracker over there and you used to be able to only go there at low tide but now you go there anytime day or night it don't matter because uh, i guess the banks got pushed up over the years with the waves from the water and that so yeah we're gonna go over there and uh, we'll be doing a video on that one too because it is a beautiful spot might even take the metal detector over too you know scrounge around because it was quite a settlement years ago. I mean, there was churches there, schools, people living there. There's all kinds of stuff, right? There's not a lot left there now. There's a few foundations of places and two graveyards. and That's about it. But all in all, it's still a beautiful spot to go explore. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the next one.